Okay. I think we're just gonna go straight to the dungeon because that's where we were. That is not the way to the dungeon. What am I doing? Pretty good. I started watching a playthrough of Return of the Oprah Din. There's something over there I don't remember what it was. While I was washing dishes. And, woo! Holy shit. Mm -hmm. Alright. Don't need that open anymore. Don't need that open anymore. Gone the wrong way for a moment. The reason why because we actually need to be summer before we can go in here. So, quick note about uh, guineas. Even if you touch the other ones, as long as you kill the one that's floating, you just gotta remember which one it is. They'll all die. But. We're not gonna, not gonna worry about things like that right now. We got other shit to deal with, like these stupid stolfos. That again, if you hit them with the boomerang, they stop. Uh, okay, it's dark in here. Eh. Ooh. 
made it. Yep, yeah, like it said, if you get caught by that, you will be sent back. Where the hell did he go? That is not where that goes. Asshole. Wow, that's a useless ring. <laughs> that is apparently the L1 power ring, which I have the red ring already. Why do I need that? So now that we took him down briefly, whew, we can actually make progress in here. Whoops. <laughs> well, I went the whole long way around, apparently. There's one. The other one's up here, isn't it, too? There we go. All right. As a reminder, this, that's the one that's fake, so, or that's a, yeah, it's a fake Armos, it's not a real enemy. But yeah, the magic boomerang kills these guys in two hits. Yes, bombs hit, I think, kill them in one, but, meh. Magic Boomerang does better. Oh boy, I forgot how fast that thing is. Oops.
I can't actually go this way yet. I just don't want to have everything flying at me. Oh joy, this room. Okay. Bottom left up. Okay, that was easier than I thought. <laughs> Oops. two swings of the sword this should probably remind you just how overpowered the master sword is this is why I equipped the Zora ring by the way <laughs> mean but effective there proper dead hmm. Oops. Mm. Yeah, you can choose that one. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to think here. The stove was on under the corn. That explains why it was burned on the, to the thing. 
when it was burned? Did, um, you, did you have to throw it away? No, oh. most of it was still edible. Go ahead, it's open. I put some corn away too, but I put mine in separate because you don't like pepper. I mean, no, not especially. I like it on cauliflower though. But that's because cauliflower tastes like nothing. Well, you've never had it on corn, so you don't really know if you like I think I have on accident. Thanks for the Tootsie Rolls. Mm-hmm. Wow, into sweet tarts lately, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna fail that. I don't remember how to do this one. It's hard. I was close, but I did it. Ow. There we go. No. Damn it. Now I gotta do this again. Should have been able to make that. Oh. Never mind. I wasn't supposed to make that. I was just supposed to defeat the two Stolfos to get the door open. Oh, right, this, this thing. Missed. Yeah, that thing does not stop. We got the much better jump. Didn't realize we were coming back this fast. So I'm gonna I wanna point something out between the red and blue rings. The red ring the blue ring is not like the best unless you're really doing an Ages to Seasons linked game and you have the blue ring from the start. Because you have such little health. Uh, it's nice to have the extra defense. Let's have to go down the 
these stairs, right? Yes. So, um, it's kind of more, only really useful against Varan, or if you're doing, um, a Seasons to Ages linked game, the final, final boss. Whereas the red ring is useful at all times. Oops. Whew, made it. <laughs> and if you're playing a Seasons to Ages linked game, you're gonna be, ha you're gonna have the red ring at that point. And it's just gonna be better to keep using it So in all honesty, the blue ring's not going to be the most useful unless you are playing a the way I did with ages first and then seasons. Ow. Asshole. Okay, there's the there's the actual statue. No, fuck it. Let's play hard mode. Except it's not really that hard. When you have a boomerang. So, like, and there's a reason why I'm keeping the snowshoe ring aside from winter. And that's another incentive to do an Ages to Seasons link to game. Because then you have the snowshoe ring for winter, so you're not sliding around all the time. Oops. Okay. Uh, I think those are cracked floors, so we may be actually using the rock spring.
Oh, I almost had that too. Eh, didn't jump fast enough. <laughs> sweet, sweet. I managed to somehow do that. And it's these two. As a note. I don't think they can be damaged if the lights are completely out. No, it's just that they send you straight back if you, uh, if you let them take out the torches. Staircase maze. Well, this gets us the treasure, which is seriously. Okay, is it? It's all the way up, right? Oh boy. Again, I think I still have the rocks ring on. Yes, I do. which was honestly not the smartest idea with the Poe sisters because I probably could have taken them out in two hits like I did the first time. But, whatever. Let's just turn that back on for right now. Oh, uh, this is a fun one. You have to do this in order, and the first one's on the bottom. Oops. There we go. Hmm. Wait, now how do I get up? Oh, that's how. I'm an idiot. Okay. Link, please. Actually. We'll just do it that way instead.
That was not what I wanted. I think this owl statue has something interesting. This don't know how that worked, but okay. I'll take it. Oh, it's this fight. Oh, it's this boss. I thought this was the last boss. But I was not correct. Hello to Gliok. Two headed variety out. <laughs> Phase two. With the Master Sword and the Red Ring, this boss is easy. Sorry, my phone is literally underneath my mic, so. Why did he e what is he emailing me for? Oh. Oh my gosh. No, nope, not important. <laughs> it's, a, it's a short of a guy getting a puppy for Father's Day. We literally just put our dog down three weeks ago. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. Gliak, so. I'm going to talk a little bit about Gliok first. Um, Gliok is from the first Zelda. Dungeons 4 and 8 is when that boss appears. The two-headed variety is seen in... And I think, actually... Hold on. I think Gliok actually appears more than that. I'm not going to use my phone. I have other things open. There is one in uh, Phantom Hourglass. Yep, yeah. uh, Gliak appears in three dungeons. Dungeon four, which is a two headed like the one we have here, and the one in Phantom Hourglass. The three headed version is in level six and it's a mini boss. And the three-headed versions are the ones you also find in Tears of the Kingdom. Including one that made me abort mission when I was trying to get down to uh, the Faron Grassland region. Because I was riding Epona and there was a fire gliak and there was a flare, flame gliak right smack in the middle of the bridge. And I'm like, nope. <laughs> Not going with the horse with that one. And then the final version is the four-headed variant in uh, level eight. Which is probably where I got it mixed up that this was the one for... <clears throat> <coughs> For it being Dungeon 8 in this game. Sorry, brain fart right then. 
Um, severed heads will reattach themselves after time. In this game, knock off both heads and he becomes a skeleton, which is phase two. Which basically uh, ground pounds, so you have to jump with the rock's cape. Because you gotta hover a little bit to dodge that, and then he'll charge at you while you're stunned. And uh, in it appears in Phantom Hourglass as well as a two-headed. It is ice and fire. Which, I mean, if you've played Ocarina of Time, you already know that you gotta ref you just reflect it back like you do. I don't want to say that fight because reasons, but um. Phantom Hourglass was the last time we saw Gleox until Tears of the Kingdom came out. And the only other time we'd seen the three-headed variety was in the first game. Yeah, by the way, that was the end of the, the dungeon. Like, 40 minutes. That... I know what it's supposed to be, but <laughs> I am 12 mentally sometimes, so. <laughs> I'm going to actually, I'm going to turn down my TV. I found out why I got um, copyright hit from... Uh, brain, holy shit, uh, Pokemon. All right, which one is it? Is it just jump? No, it's not just jump. Which one did it fucking do? That is not the... Um, there was an echo from my TV into my mic. So despite the fact that I muted it in OBS, it still picked up a small, the small echo. All right, I can't go this way yet. So yeah, that is why I still got the copyright claim. Now again, I don't monetize, so I'm not gonna be in any trouble for it. And I'm, I mean, even if I did monetize, that is still Nintendo's content, so I'm not gonna, I wouldn't fight that. But yeah, I did not realize until Later, that that was what happened. 
So a little bit of Celestial was actually playing. You could actually hear, they could actually pick it up through my microphone. Which, yay. But it is what it is. All right. So The Mako tree said that he saw no dreams. There's only one area still left. I don't know why I did that. When I had full. All right, fine, Maple. I'll fight you this time. Oh, there she is. I still won. So in order to beat her at that, you actually have to use Pegasus Seeds. You will not be quick enough. To stop her, otherwise. Very solemn music. Temple remains. Hmm. That wall does look kind of familiar, doesn't it? Ow. Oh, Jesus. So we're back on Goron Mountain right now. <laughs> Big Goron, yes. So over here, there's technically a ring that we can get. I don't know if I really need it. Because it's, I mean, it's the, uh, it's the armor ring L2. The blue ring is significantly better. Oh, right. The Northern Peak. That's what's that way. Right. That is, as you probably guessed, where Onox is. I like how this sword can even one-shot Lynels. There's a subrosion portal. Get back here, fucker. So the ring that we'd get is the L2 armor ring, which is damage taken minus two, but you deal half as much damage.
I always I thought there was a. I, I think I have the red ring equipped still too. Yep. Oh. So an interesting thing about autumn is that this area right here, well, as you can see by my little fuck up right there, this is all pits. You would not be able to get through Forget what's in that door. I think it's something important. I just don't remember what. Anyway, this leads us here. Another thing I'd like to kind of point out is that some of these portals make no fucking sense. Like this one right here, this is the one that, I think this is the one that does Mount Kuko, that goes to Mount Kuko, which is, up in the highest part of Holodrome, and I'm like, huh? Anyway. Guy is throwing extremely good things into the volcano, and instead we have to throw a bomb in. Oh, joy, aren't we smart? Somehow, that causes the lava flow up here. Huh? So now, and, uh, nope. There we go, perfect. Go in here and get that heart piece. I just noticed you can actually cheese this. By doing this. I went wrong the wrong way. It was kind of therapeutic watching that tick type though. Ow. Asshole. Stupid crows. Just knock that line out into the lava. Great. Ah, yes, I see what it is. <laughs> okay. Faisal. Yo! Table flipper! Man, it's been a while since we talked. 
Here you haven't been in the best of shape right now. I hope you're... Hello! Welcome! <laughs> That's good. I'm glad. I apologize if I'm not super talkative. I'm also legitimately trying to, well, I'm using a guide as well to do this. So that was not the item I thought I had equipped. <laughs> you are in the right place for being a chaotic gremlin because so am I. <laughs> Table can probably attest to that. I don't stream that much, so probably not. I pretty much only stream like once a week because work. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, that's what that's for. Oh, I am missing. I'll fix it later. Meh. We will fix that missing part of the map. But we are going to be going into... <laughs> nice joke there. Uh, that's a good one. It had been a long time for me, too. Like, I have not played this since a very long time. I don't even remember the last time I played Ages and Seasons proper. easier than I remember it being, but <laughs> then again, this game is ten, over, this game's over 10 years old. I was 10 years old when I played this game the first time. <laughs> oh, very nice, very nice. I want you guys to watch the eyes on this thing, by the way. Mm. Somehow she is not going through the grass. And neither is Impa. Yeah, um, these games came out when I was 10 years old. <laughs> So, you must be like a year or two older than me then, Table. Alright. So, this is part of the biggest reason why you want the snowshoe ring. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
Because otherwise you'd be sliding all over the place. Okay, then you're younger than me. I'm an idiot. Oh my god. <laughs> I am not awake. <laughs> so you are actually... Three years younger than I am, so you must have been around seven. Because I'm, I just turned 33 in March, so. My math is off. So I got both of these when they came out as well. I got super lost, and this was back before... This is back when dial-up was still a thing. I am that old. <laughs> hmm. How do you forget that? We're like one year apart, dude. One or two years apart. Sorry, I really wanted to kill that asshole because he was bothering the hell out of me. Ugh. Indeed. I went the wrong way. <laughs> okay, my math is dumb. My math is off. That's right. Yours is December, right? Because I'm March, so. Yeah, the days of the <laughs> parents wanting to use the phone. Well, that's the thing. My birthday is in March. Yours is in December. Yeah, it's that easy. Yeah, parents wanting to use the phone and then, but you're online and you can't, and they can't use the phone. My mother got so mad at me when I was trying to look up guides for this game. <laughs> I wanted that heart <laughs> for no other reason. didn't want to put the sword away, game. Oh, I gotta, right, I gotta bomb this. It's hard to add beetles don't die from explosions either, by the way. They do but die by that thing, though. Why is Instagram? What is what the hell is? This? Oh. Thank you for the follow. Um, just as a note, I stream Thursdays or Fridays. It depends on what my day off is. Uh, I stream mo. Oh, Pretty much only on my days off, on my weekday off, because eh. I just don't usually have a lot of time after work. 
I used to stream Wednesday. It was Wednesdays and Sundays, I think, because those were both the days that were before my days off, but I got a different position at work, so. Ow. Ha! Asshole. Uh oh. <laughs> Ow. Shit. There they are. Ow. Ow. Stupid spikes. Okay. So, those are, I believe those are the wall masters. The other ones were floor masters. Ah, keep forgetting that's not what I want equipped. Ow. Stupid fireballs. Freaking pedobos. Asshole. <laughs> that this is definitely something I like about these remakes about the Nintendo Switch versions of this game. <laughs> the rewind function has saved my ass and my sanity multiple times. <laughs> My last stream I had to do the bigger, so I had, the last time I played this, I went through dungeons five and six, I had to do this fight, and get the other, I think this was the upgrade for it. So I had to do the wild toke, the present day version of it, so the harder version, and I had to bigger on sword the frickin' shooting gallery. Ugh. Rewind saved me so much sanity. Okay, we have Al Fire Keys. <laughs> Ow, Dick. Fuck him. Not not dealing with that right now. I did not want the bigger on sword game. That game is that sword is ass. Okay, how did I take that much fucking damage? Hang on. Oh, right. That's why. Never mind. Don't care. So, reason why I hate this sword is slow as balls. The only reason I ever would bother with that whatsoever. Is just to say you have it. This is another reason why you want the snowshoe ring on. 
Because if you don't have it on with the spike beetles, yeah, gonna get your ass bounced. Bad. I don't have the map yet. So this is the Sword and Shield dungeon. Much like the Oracle of Ages final dungeon, this is basically testing all of your knowledge. Uh, from the entirety of the game and utilizing pretty much all of your weapons. Uh, on that note, we will probably be going through the Heroes Cave, the linked Heroes Cave, before we finish this. Ow. Alright. Neat. We're not allowed to kill anything in here until that thing moves. It's so named because, yeah, it's a shield and a sword. Eh. Asshole. Come on. Come on, fucker. I'm an idiot. There we go. We'll need that for later. Ow. Asshole. Oh, crap. This is the double wisp room. I don't have the wisp ring handy. Ow. Eh. I don't want to get touched because I do not have the wisp ring and I need to get rid of those ouch pots. There we go. <sighs> now we get the final the hyper slingshot. Three, it's a three shot. Wrong one. Now, jump across here to where we made the bridge earlier. You can go down here. Oh, right. Unlike other Zeldas, you can't actually open chests from the other side. From the sides. That is still dumb. That is still, like, the most obnoxious sound. Oh. 
What else am I supposed to have a fairy in it? This room has four masters. It is not, thank God. I hate floor masters in, this, in these games. Okay, I need my sword back, thanks game. Okay, I need those guys away from there, thanks game. Mm. Ah, damn it. There we go. I think you actually have to hit him. I think you actually have to hit him at least once in both forms. Which I'm sure you can guess is fun. Should have waited. It's okay though. Just do that. Shift him back. You can't damage him. Oh. Well, that was easy. Hey! Get back here. <laughs> Stupid fairy. Okay. So. <laughs> uh. Okay. <laughs> so, I don't like there being chests in a dungeon. So that. What did I get to? No. No. Oh. I see you found me on Blue Sky <laughs> table. <laughs> Mind you, I do not post very much on there, but... Oh, the Steadfast Ring, so that reduces your knockback. Alright. 
There we go. Uh, never mind. There we go. Okay. What do I need? Okay. This is going to be fun. Oh. I need jumps. Oh, there's that's right, those things are down there. Again, a reason you're gonna want hi Mike. Hang on. Yes, it's the last dungeon of seasons. This is why you always, this is part of the reason why I always suggest you do an Aegis Seasons run because then you can get the snowshoe ring and this dungeon is not near as much of a bitch. Boink. All right. Really? No. Okay. Wait a minute. Missing the entire center of that area. What the hell? Ah, okay. Ah. There we go. Ugh. Yeah. I love Jabu Jabu. What's the point of that? I guess nothing, aside from getting him out of the way so he doesn't hit you. Yeah, the Age of, Ages 7th Dungeon, ugh. Jabu Jabu's belly is awful because it's, it's nasty. Because you're literally inside the giant fish. 
It's a combination of Jabu Jabu and friggin' Water Temple. L3. Yay. Missed. So the ice permanently freezes that. So I got stuck in Dungeon 2 the first time I played Ages. Because I couldn't figure out the puzzle. First of all, I couldn't figure out how to get to it. Because I couldn't figure out how to get the fit, find all the fairies. But. Hmm. Wonder if he's actually going to beat it. I didn't realize those were actually going to come back to life. Did not really need the fairy. Or the heart, for that matter. Don't really need the money either. There is not much for me to spend it on right now. Yeah. Okay, bye. Oh, joy. Ugh. Demos. Good old unkillables. Ow. Ow. Dick. Oh. 
forget what the boss is in this dungeon. Ow. Stop hitting me. Jackass. Yeah. We were supposed to do that one a little earlier, but I did not. Because I had a key to unlock that. Not their shovel. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey, genius, pay attention. I'm really hoping there's a fairy available. Not going to try anymore. So that's it. This is Medlock. I'm going to switch rings real quick. Okay. Bosses are a little cake when you have the Master Sword and the Red Ring.
So, now we are gonna actually, we're in the area where we're supposed to be to finish the game, but there's one thing I need to show yet. And that is, well, we have to come down here anyways. Because we have to go talk to the Maku Tree, but. Now, I already showed you with your UFO. I'm not showing you again, honey. I don't know why she spawns in town. Oh, also. There's the mayor. I already have that ring. Have that. That's not the most useful right now. Steadfast ring reduces knockback. And this is the Slayer's ring, which we already have. There is one other thing I want to do. And I'm going to have I'm going to use the portal down here for it. Cuz I'm missing three squares in in uh Subrosia. This one makes sense cuz it's southern part of Holodrum, southern part of Subrosia. That's not the item I wanted. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I see where I need to go. There we go. remember how to get over there. Oh no, I'm, I'm right here. What? Oh, yeah. Subrosians eat lava. Okay, that was useless. <laughs> Alright, cool. Got it. <laughs> oh, right. These two got stuck, got left behind.
All right, so I showed a little bit of this in order to get the code for uh, the Master Sword. Because the there's a Zora in there that gives you that the secret. So We can skip that first bit. Why did I put that down there? The hyper slingshot makes getting rid of them very efficient. So let me think. What's the way to do this again? <laughs> Not like that. I did show a bit of this in an earlier stream. I believe it was right after I got through with the third dungeon because you can do the first part as soon as you've done that. So I think that was the second stream. Um, let's find out. I don't remember. One. Ah! Whoops. I got grabby handed. <laughs> I forgot they were in there. <laughs> I'm trying to get caught up to where I am. Actually, ha, fucker. Now we can just walk. You're supposed to move away from where the cracked floors are. Ow. I got one of them. There was the other one.
Oh. Whoops. I screwed that up. Hang on. There. That's how you're supposed to do that. Ow. Assholes. Okay, I gotta... My dad just turned the light on. Which was nice because I was about to get up and turn it on myself. Okay. Okay, where's what I'm missing? them all though where to go hold up there it is Come on, asshole. Thank you. There we go. Oh, that's bombs. That's a lot of bombs requiring. Never mind. Easy route. There we go. Yeah.
shoot, hang on. Oh, that's gonna be an instantaneous fall anyways. That was close. No, never mind. We're not going to try that. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I think I know what I have to do. Uh, back to before I did this though. Hmm. Fuck it. Don't care right now. There we go. Ow. Oh dear, this does not look like fun. Okay, bye. Why did I just walk? Yeah, this is... Really? Nope, it closed again. Ugh. This is ass. No. There, Christ Almighty. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh joy, more pots.
wonder where my phone was. Where's the last Gibdo? There it is. Was not expecting two Lionels going straight at me. There's the Paul's voice. Instant death. Okay. Right. Interesting. Didn't know that. So, he said if you look at the, a map of Holodrum, this is basically where they are. So this is Gnarled Root. Snake's Remains. Poison Moth. Dancing Dragon. Unicorn's Cave. The Ancient Ruins already made our money back. It's 
Explorer's Crypt. And that's pretty much the hero's cave. Minus the first bit that I'd already shown. This, why is she here again? Ow, oh, not dealing with you. I know why she's here. It's because I killed enough enemies to make her show up, but I don't want to deal with her. I don't want it to be winter here. You know what? I can just change it myself. Oh, hey, the kid moved it over here because everybody's over talking to Zelda or listening to Zelda. There, better. Now we're gonna go see the Mako tree. He's grown significantly. Now he actually looks like the one in Labrinia. Also, flashing light warning, I keep forgetting about that until it starts happening. So he knew the entire time. So. It's a bit of a walk back over there. literally trying to hit it with the sword beam not the sword itself Yeah, that was a little close. Mm-mm. Uh-oh.
So I'm just noticing this now. I used to think that the blue and red gems on their heads was their nose. And now I'm just noticing that no, that's their gem, that's the gemstones that they have. Uh-oh. Okay. I did not have the red ring equipped. That's why that took so long. So, wow, that's some slowdown, Jesus. Stupid grabby hand, go away. When you hear the chime, that means you can move on to the next room. Oh, God damn it. Facade, why are you here again? By the way, table, since I know you're still here, because I see you in uh, the chat list. I forgot he doesn't actually do you any damage. Uh, did you see the direct with the new Zelda game? I am excited and I just went, uh, I had to pick up uh, Luigi's Mansion 2 HD Yeah, that one was a big one, too. I need that. But I went over, so... I'm gonna pause for a minute so I don't get hit by anything. I don't think I will. I have a list of games that I wanted to... Pre-order. I am not good at first-person shooters, so Metroid was not on that list. Um, I could get all but one of them pre-ordered. And it's funny because one of the ones I pre-ordered was Donkey Kong Country Returns, and I suck at Donkey Kong Country games. So there's a reason why we're going to need the... Rod of Seasons. So the only thing that hurts him is spin attacks. And this is why you need the Rod of Seasons. Oh, right, I can't change yet. All right, let's do this fast. Um, I don't remember. I think it's got both. I think it's the 3DS one because I saw three hearts. This is Dark Dragon Onox. You absolutely need to have. Let me see. 
jump. It out. The rocks cape for this. If you're actually decent with the cape, you can just jump between his hands, but I'm not good at the cape with the cape jumps. I mean, she's definitely easier for boss fight, but honestly, I don't think, yeah, I mean, she's trying to completely stop time. But that ah. jumped the wrong way. Reason why Onox is really wow. There we go. I hate this attack. I always get just like completely fucking walloped by it. Dead. Well, that's good because I needed that health. I'm gonna need to keep that health. Nope. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna say it again. That is the first time I have ever had Biffin and Blossom's kid as an adult. Uh-oh. Two and three. The flame of despair is lit. <clears throat> oh dear. Note that yes, Link is raising his left hand. There's Nehru. So there was originally supposed to be a third game that uh for war was going to be a part of and then it never happened so one thing 
you go through here, you get you end up right back at the Mako tree. So if you actually needed, like, if you had died against Onox, which is highly possible, uh, and used up your potion, you can go back and get another one from Syrup. All right. I gotta remember how the hell this room works. All right. I don't remember now. You've gotta go where none of the statues are looking. <coughs> so, this room, they're not looking up. Again, not looking up. Now they're not looking right. It's six rooms you gotta do that. Now. We're about to get into the fun fight that other that everybody may remember. Screen warping nonsense and flashing light. I think I forgot a ring that I was supposed to have. Uh oh. Uh oh. Anyway, this is basically their fight from Ocarina of Time, except you cannot use the mirror shield. I'll run into these two idiots more than I. Okay. Hang on. All right, got one. But two hits, that's it. I thought it was going to be three. All right, uh, it's I am an idiot. Uh, only way to do damage to her now. Mr. Seed. Be careful where you stand with the fire form. Excuse me. This is, excuse me, I hit those. Ow. Whatever. This is where you should have like the backdraft ring where so you're not gonna get knocked back. I just forgot to grab it. That's why you wanna be careful.
All right. Okay. They're giving their own life. To summon Ganon in his monster form. This is the hardest fight, ouch, in the game. I'm also a moron. Hang on. There we go. <laughs> also, I need this. I forget how many hits this fucker takes. Ah, it's spawning right on top of me. How did I get hit now? I don't care if I take the hit enough of the hits this time. I have a magic potion. Okay. Fight went better than expected. I did have to use the potion, but. Thank you. Hmm. So he has other attacks. He has one other attack that we didn't get to see. And that was he... Uh, he'll reverse the directional controls all over the map. Which is not something. That we got, again, not something we got to see. And you're normally supposed to do spin attacks. The bigger on sword won't do anything. And Zelda's kind of explaining to what happened to Ganon. Yeah, time to go. Get up, Zelda. Nehru's here.
And Zelda gives him a kiss. If you do this on a Seasons to Ages, the Maku tree gets so mad. And it's so funny. And that is Oracle of Seasons. And the final part of the Oracle Games. Din dancing with all the people. Nehru and Ralph. With the, uh, the three kids that we found in, I don't know where they, where they currently are, but those are the three kids that were in the Yall graveyard. That isn't, Lin uh, Lina City. Yep, most of the spring bananas. Dimitri somehow bouncing over trees. Zelda back at Hyrule Castle. Yeah, now we got the regular credits. Again, these are unskippable, but... So we're gonna be sitting here for a minute. I'm gonna write down the secret that I'm gonna get. I'm probably never gonna use it, but... <laughs> Miyamoto. So, kind of the sad part for these two games is that other than being released here, they'll never, they've never been acknowledged again. That's because these were created by Capcom. Now here is the point where people kind of thought these were meant to be prequels to Link's Awakening because Link is sailing off. But I'm not sure which it is, if he's sailing, because that looked like a castle, and there is not a castle in Holodrum. But, in the original timeline, these two games were set before Link's Awakening. This is the hero secret. You can use it to start, I believe, a new game plus.
I have not done a hero secret in a very long time, but... So glad I use a erasable pen on this shit. <laughs> and you can basically get 100% rings. Not worth it. At all. Because it's complete RNG. And you can still get... So, and you mo so you'll mostly get duplicates. But that was both Oracle games. So I think we're gonna end off stream here. Um now here's the thing. Next week is fourth of July. So, I'm going to have Thursday off. I don't know if I will have Friday off as well, but if I do, I might do uh, two streams. Thursday and Friday, depending if I feel up to it. I don't know if I will actually stream on Thursday because I will be spending most of my time with my family. And while I love my family, they drive me nuts. And they wear me out. Real bad. I have no idea yet. I have an idea. Well, okay. I just said I have I have an idea. But, I've got a couple ideas. Um, I eventually plan to do a Thousand Year Door run, but that will be later, because I'm not done with it yet. I want to do a run of Unicorn Overlord, but I gotta beat that first too. I still haven't beaten that, because that final boss fight is bullshit. I will not, probably not be streaming Princess Peach Superstar, at least not 100%, because that is also really fucking stupid. I have a game that I kind of do want to play again, though, so that'll probably be it. I just gotta remember where the hell I put it. <laughs> I think it's in my uh, sandwich bag of games that I keep most of my games in. But yeah, that will be it for tonight. Thank you again, Table Flipper, for the raid. And I will see you guys sometime next week. You'll see, I'll post it on Twitter. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!